All right, everybody. Huge vlog today. Huge vlog today. Could be a league decider. We're doing it at New Westland Park to take in Renfrew v Canvas Line Rangers. Canvas Line are going for the title. All they need is a win the day, and that's it sealed. Renfrew are flying under manager Jimmy Quigley since he's taken permanent charge of the team, averaging 2.5 points per game, only losing one game. Any other season, that'd be championship stuff. But this year, Canvas Lang are the team in form. They are absolutely flying scored at over 100 goals and only conceded 14. We start before we get in here. Billy Campbell, co-manager at Canvas Lang. The last four seasons that have been completed, excluding COVID, Billy has got teams promoted. East Coast 2017, Canvas Lang 2018, Glencairn 2019. Will it be Canvas Lang 2022? It's looking likely, but will it happen today? This is going to be a cracker. Hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get in here. That's 20 through, not much happening at all, it's um, very even, a bit cagey. A couple of wee niggly fouls, but not much in it. Let's hope we get that, that goal mouth action from goal. into the second half. Paul McCall, the co-manager at Camden Slang, has been sent off. So, it's from bad to worse. There's not been much happening at all. Um, we're through our stifle in Camden Slang, so... It's been pretty flat to the start of the second half. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're joined by Jimmy Quigley, manager of Remtru. Jimmy, two up. How do you feel after that? Being only the third team to take points after him, you happy with that? Disappointed that you've thrown away a two goal lead? Uh, definitely disappointed, two goal lead. Um, it's the first time we played 3 5 2. I thought we needed to nullify the ball in the big game. Was feet, just smashing player. Um, the boy Williamson gets in behind as well. So I tried to change the shape today and I thought for an hour, probably it worked. Um, it's like to be a bit experienced. I could see it coming. Um, boys in the park on the bench, we did end up missing a few we injuries, a few suspensions, so limited to the changes we could made. So for an hour, I was reasonably happy. After that, it's just you could see it coming all day long. Eh? First half, I thought you were very good. You nullified them completely. Like you said, you have always got a wee lack of experience, and they've got a lot of experience, yeah. which has got them the goals at the end. But you still had quite a few chances to possibly have extended the lead in the first half. I thought um, Scotty Morton and uh, David McKenna had a, a good performance up top and looked more threatening than the front two for Canvas Lang. Aye, definitely. I agree with that. I think the two of them have worked well together last season as well, particularly when we played. So, <laughs> chances were there to be taken in the first half. Gregor's one on one with the goalie. David McKenna right in him at the first minute. If he catches that better, then he gives the keeper a safety mate. Uh, but you're right, the experience has kind of killed us. Gart Kern was the same. A couple of weeks ago, they scored the last minute one. You could tell the experience they've got in their team as well that they were always going to get chances. So we're a young team, only got a couple of old heads in it. I think we have a bit of experience still. That will stand them a good set. So. Well, I think you can be very pleased with how you've done since you've come in because you were talking about it earlier. Two and a half points per game since you've come in. It's been an incredible first kind of stint in management for you as the top man. So well done today and all the best for the rest of the season and Cheers. next season when it comes. Cheers guys, thanks a lot. Well done Canvas Line. We're joined by co-managers of Canvas Line Rangers, Paul McCall and Billy Campbell. Guys, 2-0 down, down to 10 men in the first half. What did you say to them at half time to come out the way he's did? We yeah, spent a bit of time just trying to refocus them again. You know, the, we asked them how many of them had played to a, to a level <coughs> that's acceptable. And we've got a kind of phrase that I use, you know, many was a 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 10s. None of them were up there, all well, none of them. So. You know, we told them we needed to lift their game individually. However, we weren't going to change the setup of the team, we weren't going to change the structure. Just go and play. You had the quality, go and have a wee bit of belief in yourself. You know, go out and win the second half. Make sure you don't lose the next goal. And, you know, get a foot in the ball. But I think, I think first half, Paul and I were discussing it during the half. We'd said to them that the boys will go long against us. Just be aware of it. And the wind was really, it doesn't feel that bad now, but it was horrendous at the start of the game in the first 25 minutes. And we, bam, we were backed up, mate, weren't we? No, the, the wind didn't help us, and uh, we were poor. It's as poor as we've been in, in that half. But second half, you've got a bit of quality. Scott can score goals. Vidi's actually always coming up with a goal. Comes in, uh, and set pieces were pretty dangerous. So we've come back into it. Probably Renfrew were a better team in the first half, we were better in the second half. It draws a fair result. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. I thought Renfrew were good, good crowd. Come out with a brilliant. Guys um, were great really, today. really good whiz. Respect. Uh, to so yeah. uh, they're, they're a decent side, young side. And uh, they're still looking for that fourth. Possibly they can get the fifth position, we were spoke about earlier. Other than yourselves and Gart Cairn, Renfrew are the informed team in the Absolutely. league. Oh, definitely. They sure have got a lot of quality. Well, and it was like it no, they listen, we, we, we knew this was the hardest game in the last game. few months. Aye, and, nice. and we didn't turn up. We didn't turn up the first. first I don't guys are nervous or whatever. Uh, and then we lost a, a, a penalty. Uh, I, I thought it was a handball and they've got a goal through it. But that, that's done now. But goal difference. We've not won it yet, so we're yeah. not going to get it stupid. And then next week, um, we play Gart Cairn, and it's going to be a, a decent game, deep, good crowd. So hopefully, we get a wee win there, and then hopefully, that's us we can, can celebrate properly. Very, very proud. We say to the boys that, you know, even to date, Paul, we're very, very proud of what they've done to date. But we've still not won anything, you know what I mean? So you're not going to be. The boys, you know, Paul mentioned it there with the guys here, the whole committee and the management team. No, fantastic respect each and every one of them. They were fantastic. We've known, we've known them for a long time, but no, they're even getting his bottles of champagne. Nah, and really it's right. just, just brilliant. Great guys, you know what I mean? Just the day, your football's all about. The day we did a couple of boys, same as them, there's a few boys missing, but Tony Stevenson was sick this morning. He's been so he's, game. He's, he's one of the best players in young the juniors. Jay. And young Jay, who's been great. So, we better blow the two out, but. Then through the couple of boys out, the big boy up front, diver, and uh, yeah, another boy sent off. So we kind of use that excuse, but we I think it draws a fair we're a wee bit different yeah. without Tony and Jay. And uh, but the boys come in, Gordon done a good yeah, shift. Yeah, yeah. But injured it late on, but listen, got the draw, and Nearly there. I thought we were done half time. I thought two and a half. Don't know if we're going to come back for us the way 
we were playing, but fair play to the boys, man. They've, yeah, yeah. they've, uh, they've done well when that's spent, another game spent, unbeaten. We spent that time just refocusing them again, calming them down, getting their heads back on it. You know, you've got guys with a hell of a lot of experience in that dressing room as well, mate. And, you know, you look around but and look at them individually and say to them, go and carry the boys through, and they did. Aye, you know? My highlight is getting on this show. I've been, I've been dying <laughs> to go on it. I've been phoning them texting for the first time. It's just incredible, man. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to have that getting put in the public record. You're a pair of liars. Look, <laughs> <laughs> guys. No, no listen, no, bro, good for no, good you come along. We appreciate it. Look, guys, well done today. Well done bringing it back. You're nearly there. It's... In my opinion, I can say it you, Scanny. It's done for me already. But next week, all the best against Scott Cairn. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers.